to Tangier Mat. We are just now on the exit and we don't know like if they were with us out or if they want us to stop to check something about the truck. I are you okay? I held him. You held? Wow. I held the door right in yeah. front of his face. Saved his life. I am Isabella and I am from Brazil. This is Fabian and he is German. We've been overlanding the world with our home sweet home Frank the Tank for the past almost four years. And together with our son Matteo and our two lovely dogs, Uni from Spain and Basco from Germany, we are living even for before. Subscribe and welcome to the family. In our last episode, we were shipping our truck from Algeciras, Spain to Morocco, Africa. Once we left the boat, we went through customs. There, they put us through a big auto scan. Then, they made us wait a long time without telling us anything. Now, father went there and let's see. What will be? Fabian is down there, I cannot film, but they will tell us what to do. Now Fabian is coming back. Let's see. I am not to wait. Yes. Is it wait? Yeah. Okay. Você tá tão bom, menino. Você tá cansado? Não, você tá cansado. Ah. Papai já vem dirigir o carro e a gente já vai, ok? A gente tá na África, o Mateuzinho. África, você sabe o que isso significa? Esse é o seu primeiro continente, mudança de continente. Yeah. Ah, mãezinha. Oi, oh, soninho da mãe. Fabian is like, the guys want to check the inside of the truck. And then Fabian opened the door for the back, but the dogs are inside there. And then they saw the dogs and they decided not to see the inside. <laughs> they said, okay, okay, it's okay, don't worry. And then Fabian now went inside with the passports and I don't know what, I think is the registration of the truck. What they want now that is legally to drive here in Morocco. Okay, Mustafa is Noy. He will check my papers now, nothing to declare. Nothing that he saw, the dog scared him a bit. Do you so, have the door in your face with the wind? I, Are you okay? I held him. You held? Wow. I held the door right in yeah. front of his face. The guy will go inside. <gasps> oh! Saved his life. <laughs> uh, okay. We have now a temporary import that is valid for six, six months. months in Morocco. Nice. And if you return, that's the uh, always you need to return it. Yes. Cool. And they do for you. You only give your passport, the documents of the car, and they prepare everything and then bring you back this. All right. Pretty cool. Now let's keep on going. Last stop before they allow us to go out. Bonjour. You just ask for the papers. I takes it away again. <laughs> Good see. There it is. You wanted to keep it. <laughs> now we go. You forgot to give you back? No, I wanted to keep it. And he said, I looked at him and I'm like, give me that. Ah, okay, because if I don't have it, I take Yeah, the police stops you and then you're in trouble. Yeah. There it is, we are in the highway. Finally. Finally. On the way to Tangier to visit a friend of ours. Nice, dogs are back here with us. 
on the ferry, we prefer to put them on the back and Matheusinho is sleeping. Probably really tired. Too many things happen for little boy. And here's the fence. The harbor area. By the way guys, this video is sponsored by Skillshare. I was doing some research and I found some interesting videos, some interesting classes that may resonate with all of you. I put on the search field, travel the world, those words, and showed up a few interesting classes, uh, like this one here from Adam Bartonick, travel the world, even if you were broken, a pretty interesting name. <laughs> I am already traveling and I am sure I can learn something new with him and I think you guys may too. It's always good to learn from people that did before you. Like that you don't make so many mistakes. And it's also a great option to move forward, to start to live the life that you want. Anyways, Skillshare is a great platform to learn all kinds of things. I am sure that you guys will find something that resonates with you too. Go there to check it out and give it a try. Because they are giving one month free trial to the first thousand people that go to the link in our description. I hope like that you can be a little closer to live your life dream too. There it is, the first impressions of... Tangier. Tangier. Morocco. Morocco. Look at this. Look where we are now. Thomas, thanks a lot for arranging our parking space. We are in Hotel Andalusia in Maroc, uh, in Tangier. And we have a nice parking behind the hotel where we will stay. We have beautiful people here that helped us, you know, checking in. 
and enjoy. First Moroccan tea for Isabella. <laughs> Nice park. We found a nice bakery that was open. Fabian bought some nice stuff. It's really difficult. Oh wow, he bought a lot of stuff. It's really difficult now to find bakery restaurants open because we are still they are still here in the Ramadan. Then we also try to not eat in public, like that people see us just for respect. And this was a nice side story. We were outside of our parking spot, still on the hotel that we parked yesterday. And we, a lady said, yeah, go here on the corner and you will see a park up on the hill. They're like, okay, Fabian is starting to ask the people about where is the park because we don't see on the map. And then it's like one hour walking from where we were. And the guy that Fabian stopped to ask, he said, if you want, I can bring you there. And he put the dogs, Mateo, the wagon, everything in his car and brought us up here. This is amazing. People are so friendly. It's unbelievable. It's really nice. And now we will stop to do a little pause and eat. But look at this view. We see Spain from this side now. Pretty amazing. City. It's everything so green. <laughs> Matteo is amazed by so many doggies. Matteo, huh? we put the dogs on the leash. Because we read that they have rabies, dogs with rabies here. And I know our dogs have the vaccination and everything, but just in case, to keep them safe and clean. Uh, in the beginning now, we are having them on the leash. Most of the time they are without leash with us, but here especially that so many dogs are around, we decided to put them on the leash. There it is, our parking spot, back home, we are. In our second day, we met with Fabian's friend, Thomas. Thomas is a great guy and he helped us so much in Morocco. He also showed us the old town of Tangier by car. Here's a beautiful view. So you were on the other side. You see Tarifa and stuff like that? Wow. Check it out. We are in Tangier. Pretty crazy the amount of people we saw on the streets and the roads, how tiny they are. We also had an amazing time with Thomas and his family at dinner. This is a mm. very beautiful road here. Nice. That takes you to, to Fez. Fez. Mm -hmm. There's two ways to go. And Thomas was so nice to give us some tips on our Moroccan route. But now look at Mateo and his new Moroccan best friend.
first time that Matteo is with another kid, Kian. I think like this close. No, not really. I don't know. That's it. We had a lovely time here in Tangier. Now we are moving towards Chef Chuan or something like that. <laughs> and then the next episode you guys will see will be the Blue City. There's really a blue city. You guys will check it that out. <laughs> then see you when we see you. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode. Você encontrou a Quinha? Uhum. Sim. O que mais? Você dá para a mamãe? Uau! Quinha? Sabia que dentro da Quinha tem nozes?